Man, editing these videos is hard work. I really need an editor. But where can I get one? You know what I could do? I could create one. Just like in that movie I just saw. Weird science. Okay. Um, we'll make him good at editing, obviously. Uh, he'll run on caffeine. Yeah, because they, they do that. And uh, <laughs> make him a little bit overweight so the ladies aren't attracted to him. Oh, and I'll give him a stupid beard. <laughs> All right, editing slave, here you come. Whoa! Turn the baseball game on, nerd. Damn it, I forgot to take out sports. I wish I had a friend. Yay! Why does Brian want me to watch PBS? Green eye, the science guy. Green eye, the science guy. Oh, God. Green! 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 Green eye, the science guy. Green rules. Green eye, the science guy. Green is a property of awesome. Green, 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 green eye, the science guy. Green, 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 green eye, the science guy. Hello, I'm Breen Nye, the Science Guy, and today we're talking about weird science. Weird. It's one of John Hughes' most popular movies. John but before who? we get started, I have to ask you to consider the following. John Hughes is one of the most popular directors from the 80s. Uh -huh. Some of his movies have become the most iconic of all time. Oh, really? But that begs the question, is it the movie or the director? Hmm. A movie like Simone, a movie starring Al Pacino, versus a movie like Weird Science. You've probably heard of one, not the other. Uh -huh. But both are similar. So why is that? Is it the director that makes the movie, or is it the movie that makes the director? Thank you for considering the following. Try this. We're going to be building our own homemade fusion reactor. Mm. The only things you need are going to be a napkin, uh -huh. a pen, uh -huh. and an empty water bottle. Oh. oh, and of course you can't forget our safety glasses of science. Remember kids, if you're doing this at home, be sure to have an adult with you. The first thing we're going to do is take the pen and set it on top of the water bottle very gently. Okay. This is very important that we don't drop it. The next thing we're going to do is take the napkin, set it on top of the water bottle. Water is wet. Well, it's made up of molecules called H2O. It's two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. Oh. Kind of like this movie. It's made up of two-part horny teenager what? and one outrageous premise. Oh. Seriously, this movie's outrageous! That was loud. The characters are kind of odd throughout this whole movie, mainly because they spend the entire time talking to one another and nobody else. It's really just kind of a monologue between the two of them. Not only that, let's be honest, you're creating an entire woman out of a computer. That is the most outrageous premise I've ever heard, and I'm a man of science. Are you? Granted, I've thought about it, That's but gross. I've never done it before. Uh-oh. Also, there's a lot of big name talent in this. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron one Man? of the supporting characters in this. He plays the bully. Oh, really? Kind of neat to see him in another role, you know, a little bit younger. Uh -huh. But I gotta tell you, yeah, it's a terrible role. Oh. I mean, seriously, none of the characters are believable. The older brother in it is a complete just basket case. He tries to murder them with a shotgun. What older brother tries to murder somebody with a shotgun? Not a good one. And they just let him go. They let him go. Later on, he's even turned into a giant piece of poop! That's loud and disgusting. Outrageousness does not begin to cover the level of just insanity in this movie. I have to tell you, I am shocked that shocked. this movie made it to theaters and became half as popular as it is. Here's a tasty treat you can try at home. All you're gonna need is... A napkin a pen, and a plastic water bottle. The first thing you want to do is set the pen gently on top of the water bottle as such. Be very careful on this step, this is important. Once it's on there, take the napkin and gently set it on top of the pen. The plot line's a lot like this manure. Oh, that's you gross. put it down and hope the characters grow, but in reality, 
kind of stinks and it's pretty corny. Mm. Matter of fact, the plot line doesn't really lead you anywhere. No it kind of leads you in circles. Circles. Down paths that go nowhere. And the most exciting part, the part where they create a woman, really becomes kind of a backseat to the rest of their antics. Like these animals? Overall, this plot is a bunch of poo. In order to figure out this movie's rating, we have to use our calculator of science. One famous director plus one Robert Downey Jr. performance. Multiply that by the times it actually made me laugh. Minus that by subpar plotline, divide that by forgettable characters, and also minus for subpar special effects. Factor that by 1985, and that gives you 1.73984263984923146321313. Repeating. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Now, if you excuse me, I have some unfinished science to do. Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. Uh, Brain, I don't suggest that. I can out science, Brian. And all I need is this napkin, this pen, and this empty water bottle. Let's try some science. You see, what I just did was I created my own portal gun. And you know what the fun part is? Testing it out. Hello. You see, these are the fun types of things that science can bring you, like a homemade portal gun. And speaking of portal, that's a great game. The game started off as a tech demo from Valve. And then it became just that, its own game. Now I'm not gonna go too much into it because I know a lot of you have played it, but I wanted to at least mention it in our science episode. What Portal is, is it gives you the ability to use this gun that creates a portal if you shoot it onto two different surfaces. It turns into a puzzle game and then it turns into a lot more and it's great because it seriously is comedic gold at times. I heavily, heavily, heavily suggest that if you have not played this game, Go out, rent it, buy it, play it. It's on Steam, it's on Xbox Live Arcade. It is a great game. And it even spawned a sequel that actually has a full co-op mode. So I fully suggest that you go out and play both of these games. I give this game a four and a half out of five. And now that I have my own portal gun, I get to accomplish something that's been one of my lifelong goals. Pulling a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's 11th Moon Weekly. If you could, hit the subscribe button right up here. Like us here and on Facebook. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Follow us on Twitter. Have yourself a great week. Aperture Science We do what we must because we can For the good And now with my own homemade portal gun, I'm going to do something I haven't Oh. <laughs>